Hey guys, Irene here. Today I'm doing another quick fix Photoshop tutorial. You guys really liked the previous one, so I decided to do another one. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how I sharpen the images. Before I do anything, I always go ahead and duplicate my layer. You can right click on your background, choose duplicate layer and then press OK. This just ensures that if we did something wrong or if we want to play with the opacity, we have the ability to. So now you can go ahead and click on filter, sharpen, unsharpen mask and you can just kind of play around with the sliders here of the radius and the amount and see what you like so this would be before and after hopefully you guys can still see what this does hopefully you guys can see how it sharpens up the image so that was the unsharpened mask super quick and very very easy Another one you can do is the high pass filter. So again, we're just going to go ahead and duplicate the layer first. We're going to go ahead into image adjustments, brightness contrast. Just make sure you put use legacy right here and then press OK. Now you can go into filter, other and high pass. Now here again, you can play with the slider and see what it does. Uh, what we want to do is to still kind of see the features on her face. So I'm going to leave it at three. It's going to be different for every picture. But yeah, we can still see a little bit like the details on her face. So we're going to leave it at three. And now we're going to go ahead and change it to overlay. And that's pretty much it. Let's zoom it in and see this is before and after. Before and after. Again, I hope that you guys can see the difference. Another thing that you can also do to help with the sharpness is to downsize your image. This specifically works if you want to use your image for any of the social media. So I would recommend going into image, image size. And on the pixels, we're going to be playing around with the biggest side. So if you are shooting in portrait, that's going to be the height. And if you are shooting in landscape, that's going to be the width. Uh, this image is shot in portrait mode, so I'm going to change the height to 2048. Just press OK. This will downsize the image and make it even more sharp. So this is it. I hope that this tutorial was useful for you guys. Give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you guys in my new video. Bye!